Hello viewers, welcome to this video. In this short video, we're going to take a look at a tool called Cube Color. Okay, so let's go to the web browser, search for Cube Color and the GitHub link here. Okay, so what we have is a very simple tool that colorizes your kubectl output that's it how do we download this how do we install this we just go to the github releases page and then grab the tar file that's suitable for our architecture i'm on linux machine x8664 so i'm going to copy that back in my terminal i'm going to cd to my play directory which is a temporary directory i used to work okay so wget paste that link so that's downloading the tar file for cube color and let's unzip it sorry untar it that's the right term and if I take a look at the current directory after untarring it um, you see this executable cube color so if I do cube color on its own so it's basically cube CTL with colorized output okay so what does it do it's basically a cube CTL binary a cube CTL command that's it so if I run I've already got a K3D cluster, cluster list. I've got a very simple lightweight K3D cluster. So if I do kubectl get nodes, a two node cluster, one control plane and one worker node. These are Docker containers, Kubernetes running on Docker containers, branches, K3S based on Docker container. I've done a video on K3D before, but that's not um, a topic for this video. I'm just showing that I've got a Kubernetes cluster that I'm interacting with. Okay, so kubectl cluster info. Right, kubectl get nodes. That's my normal kubectl command. So if I show my alias, alias is set to kubectl. My current alias for k is kubectl. So I type in k get nodes, which is kubectl get nodes. Okay, so instead of this, I'm in the play directory and I've got this cube color binary and if I do cube color get notes do you see there you go so cube CTL get notes that's the standard one and with the cube color it colorizes the output so that's looking good okay so what else we can do cube color so if I do cube CTL get parts dash a so that's the normal output and I can run cube color get parts dash a okay so that's already looking awesome and there's also a uh, color differentiation between the parts that are in the running state and the jobs these are cron jobs no i'm sorry i think these are normal jobs uh, they are completed and uh, i think maybe parts that are not in a running state crash loop back state or something else that's not in the running state I think it would be red color or something but anyways there's color differentiation which is uh, welcomed actually you can use cube color instead of cube ctl you can actually alias cube ctl for cube color so i'm gonna unalias so if i now run alias okay there's no alias so i can actually set up my alias k to be the cube color binary which i downloaded to my play directory or i can also set that to kubectl whichever way you want it right so now if i do kubectl get notes under the hood it's actually calling the cube color binary so i get this um, nice colorized output for all my kubectl commands kubectl get parts dash a okay it all looks good if I go back to the, um, the GitHub page, there are a couple of options that if you want, you can actually use. So once you aliased cube color for kubectl, you will always get the, the colorized output. But what if you don't want the colorized output? What if you want the plain, normal, usual kubectl output? So there is an option plain. Let's try that out. So kubectl get parts dash a. That's the colorized output because we have set the k alias to point to the cube color binary. And if I run the same command, passing minus minus plain option, so that's the normal without the colorized output. There is also another option that you can pass, which is uh, this one, light background. So the moment my terminal is dark, back, kind of dark background, so this theme actually works okay for me. So let me clear the screen once again. If I do kubectl get parts, these are all fine. So if you look at the header line here, that's of very 
light color it's not actually white but uh, to me to, to normal eyes it looks like uh, white so what if you run the same command on a terminal that has white background so in that case it won't look very well so in that case if you pause minus minus light background you can see all the colors are fine except the the light ones which are turned into dark uh, color foreground which will look very good uh, very bright on a white background yeah that's that's it for this video i will um come up with another topic for my next video until then keep learning and keep on learning bye bye